Hello and today have I got an absolute beauty of a cottage for you. Really, really rare, a three bedroom cottage in the heart of Neston Village in an absolutely beautiful quiet location on Green Hill. And behind me you just see this the little gateway and halfway through to the front door. But further at the end of the garden we have an amazing size double length tandem garage garage with a cottage I hear you say absolutely rare as hen's teeth and to top it off we have absolutely beautiful views over the fields so let me take you inside and show you a bit more so let me take you on through and into this really lovely little cottage so you can see we've got a little shared pathway down to the front door um, just with the other two cottages and you open straight up into this really fabulous recently fitted kitchen so this was only done a year ago really nicely finished off modern range of units you've got a nice composite front door as well which I've just shut behind me space for a slimline dishwasher and washing machine and then everything else is cupboard space with the double oven down at the other end so like I say really beautifully done space just on the right hand side here for coats and shoes etc and then more cupboards all the way down and then throwing in loads of extra light as well you've got this really nice sort of roof light up at the top there now through to the right hand side we have a really nice larder with the fridge freezer also positioned in that area so you've got a really nice uh, space there with shelving and then round to the right hand side is where we go into the downstairs bathroom. Now there is also a toilet, essentially a cloakroom upstairs on the first floor, but this is where the main bathroom is. So four piece in that you've got a large shower cubicle there with a rainfall shower above as well. You've got the boiler over in the corner, so that's a fairly recently fitted um, combi boiler, Worcester one as well. You've got the roll top bath, so this has all been done really nicely in keeping with the age of the property and really nice sort of old-fashioned sink with the little rail underneath so really nicely done very very much contemporary but with a, a nod to the age of the property which dates back to the early 1800s now as we go through into the dining room you've got this fabulous space in here so a lovely laminate floor and you've got a wood burner which is working just over on the left hand side here with this beautiful exposed wall and you've got all the lovely beams as well. So loads of character. Space in here for a really good sized table. As I pan back, you'll see that we've also got a big dresser in there. And that also, as with so many people at the moment, got a working from home desk in the corner. So I'm just gonna pan round and give you a better feel for that space as well as it opens up into the kitchen. So really nice cozy room, got a lovely feel about it. And then open plan again, we're just through the open doorway, again through into this really nice cozy sitting room. So beautiful space, bags and bags of character again. You've got the beams again, you've got a fireplace in the middle, although this one is a gas fire. And so you've got the wood burner in the other room and this one as well. So that's gonna keep your cottage really toasty warm all the way through just those two fires alone and then you've got a doorway through and onto the back here we have a small conservatory space which is really useful currently used for popping lots of extra bits and pieces in that you always need these guys are moving on for extra space as i'm sure you'll work out but we've got a great size in here plenty of space in here for a couple of nice chairs or a smallish sort of conservatory style sofa and a really lovely room to be able to sit out and there is planning in place or it's been a recently applied for um, to turn this into a garden room so you could extend a little bit more on the downstairs space if you wanted to and then the garden in the distance which I will take you back to in a moment so as I pan round you'll see the stairs open plan up to the first floor like I say that lovely fire there with the exposed wall just sort of creeping into this room as well so as I go up the stairs, we've got this really nice wooden staircase all the way through and straight ahead of you, really useful storage cupboard. This is the nice thing about cottages, you do need to build in as much storage space as you can and these guys most definitely have. And this little step up here into the main bedroom, 
So again, lovely room full of features. You've got a nice casement window out look there onto the fields, which I'll show you in a moment. Plenty of space for a double bed. There's actually a cupboard into the corner over that side. But then we've also got a really large range of freestanding wardrobes in here, which would not necessarily have to stay with the property. But as I go back this way, I'm just going to show you the view. The sun's just gone in, which is really annoying, but the photos we caught when it was nice and sunny. So you get a feeling of the open aspect you've got over those fields over there. Even the sheep have run away at the moment as well, just for good measure. But as I pan back round, you'll see that we've got a really nice Victorian style fireplace in there. Not working, but um, potentially being stated, but it's a bedroom, so mostly they're used for decoration these days. And as we come back through again, a little hop above the two little sections here, and then we've got the downstairs, well, no, the upstairs cloakroom in this case. So, um, save you going downstairs as your bathroom's down there in the middle of the night, you've got a toilet and basin just in that space there, which is perfect and absolutely essential, I would say. And then through into the smallest bedroom. So this is bedroom three. It's actually a double if you want to. A double bed has been in here before along with the wardrobe. So there's plenty of space. Again, really nice window over to the side there. We've got lots of furniture in here. Again, and as I pan round, you'll see that the single bed tucks really nicely underneath the stairs there. Gives loads of character, but if you did want a double in here, it does fit. It would fit into the right hand corner more or with the head of the bed alongside that wall that I'm looking at now. So there are some options there. Then as I turn to the center of the landing here, we then have the steps that lead up to the first floor bedroom. So I'm just gonna pop the light on just so that we can catch that as we come up. So we've got the stairs that come up. Now this has got building regs. So it is a fully functioning third bedroom, uh, although still in the attic, as you can see, but plenty of space up here. We've got little space along here for storage. You've got the eaves cupboard just to the left. And then as I turn around, you'll see we've got a double bed over on this side. So I'm just going to come right over to try and get a good view of this room. You can tell this is a boy's room and um, lovely space here. You've got the nice window overlooking the back again just look at those views beautiful spot and then we've also got two really nice cubby holes here so one there and one there which are currently housing and um, some chests of drawers and units in there as well so perfect space up here in the top for a guest room or a teenager's room and i'm just going to pan back and have a look through the window to show you those views before I take you outside and through the garden space. So coming out of the conservatory doors, the first thing you get to is this really lovely sized patio area. Um, I'm going to try and pan back as much as I can to give you an idea, but you've got plenty of space here for a table and chairs. I've got a little corner that I'm just trying to tuck myself into next to the conservatory as well and then over to the right hand side you've got the log store space there and a little fence line all the way down and showing you this fabulous long garden so really good space a little bit of a drop down here and then you've got the two raised beds here now there is a right of way access across all the gardens from right to left um, as I are with a lot of these cottages but I'm assured that um, the people to the right very very rarely use it because they do also have access out the back so as they come down through the central little paving stone pathway through the lawn We've got a great space here. You can see how much space we have because we've got loads of bikes and we've got a big trampoline at the bottom here. So that's obviously taken up a good space. It gives you a really good feel on the size. And then as I come down here, a little extra bonus with this property is this fabulous outside office space. Now this shed has light power. It's got little insulated um, recessed spotlights in there you can put a heater in there and you're off and running in no time at all got a little area of patio and then you've also got a little veg bed just here as well which you could extend further if you didn't need the trampoline space so just going to pan back on that really pretty cottage just to give you a feel from this side 
And so this is a really useful additional space with everyone working from home these days. So definitely worth factoring that into the equation. Now I'm just going to come through past the shed or the office space if I'm being very posh and then down to what is a tandem length double garage so an absolutely fabulous space for storage but equally if you wanted to bring a car into there you've still got a garage length for storage alone and then you could still pull a car off the road and into there and I'm just going to go all the way down to the end just to give you a feel for how it works down at the end of the pathway so basically you're just off Green Hill and at this end, you just pull in, but you, if you would need to use the garage to get parking here, so you can see here we have the garage and the bins just in front of it. There's no parking space directly in front because this is then an access road and shared drive, which takes you through to a handful, just literally about four modern houses up there. And as I come down here, this is Green Hill itself. So a really great spot in the heart of the village Let's see those fields just over there where the sheep were but I took the photos are oh, there they are they've moved up and then up to the top there now surprisingly this is walking distance of caution a lot of the children in the area do walk to the secondary school and you have the most amazing primary school in this area as well which is really really sought after on top of that you've got a fabulous pub and the bus runs on a regular basis you literally just stand out in the road and hail it and it will take you through to caution from going around Rudlow where you can always change to jump on a bus, bus as well. So really sought after. Neston itself is like gold dust. Properties don't come up here very often. So if you're in a position to proceed and you would like to buy a property in this price range in this incredibly popular village, then please do get in touch as soon as possible and we'll get you booked in for reviewing.